hi friends radhika ravi kumar here welcome back to my tutorial so in this tutorial also we'll see an informatica scenario where our scenario is like this so it's like how to load the first record to ta uh, table a and the last record to table b and the in between records to table c okay so this is also very simple if you have already gone through my previous informatica scenarios of loading the first few records uh, first three records to a table and then for uh, last three records to the you know to the target table and all so if you have noticed the previous tutorial of loading the last three records to the from source to the target then this scenario is going to be very easy for you because the steps are very similar to those things only so I'll just show you the mapping that's already been created here so this is the mapping that we are going to use for loading the first uh, record the first record to the for, you know, table A and the last record to table B and the in between records to table C so if you see the you know the table here you can check here the clerk is going to be in one file and remaining everything is going to be in another file and the last uh, record sorry Miller is going to be in the last file so this is what our scenario is so how to do this is as mentioned in the previous tutorial just um, you know take only the e name and uh, create a variable port like a, just like a sequence generator and create a dummy port that I've already mentioned so next what you need to do is uh, you just need to drag this o count and dummy to this aggregate transformation as we as we have done it before and also create a total count and assign the same to O count so we have seen all these things in our previous tutorial if you haven't seen then I suggest you just go back see the tutorial you will be able to understand the clear explanation then till here I'm very sure that you will be able to understand the mapping then by using this expression expression transformation aggregator transformation details we are joining these two so then well, after joining we are sending it to the router previously what we did is after joining we had sent that to the filter so that the only the last three records is getting filtered and the same is sent to the target but now our scenario is different so we are sending it to the router so router we know the difference between a filter and a router right so router by giving many condition you can split the path how it gets routed to the target so I have given three different or two different uh, conditions so that based on my requirement I will send it to the target so how I'll, I'll, I'll be doing it is so for more clear explanation I will begin it from the first in our expression transformation we have name so I'm going to mention rad then Ram then Jim then something like um, hub then some name okay some junk value anyways I'll consider it as e name so what exactly is happening here is um, in this expression transformation I'm giving o count according to o count each number will be assigned to each record and a dummy that is a default value of 1 will be assigned so in the second record this is going to be 2 and the dummy record is going to be dummy value is going to be 1 then it will be 3 and again 1 then again 4 4 and again 1 then 5 again 1 so this is what is going to be the result of our expression transformation so hope you guys have understood understood till here so this what is going to be the result then in our aggregator transformation transformation our result is going to be like o count sorry yeah the total count is there right so that is going to be 5 or I can say 1 because our dummy count is 1 then the total count is going to be 5 okay so only we are going to make use of a joiner and join these two things because you can see 
I am just taking O dummy and total count to my joiner and not the O count from here. That is why I have mentioned only the O dummy that is output dummy value and the total count. Total count because the number of records is 5 over here. So we are going to join this expression transformation and aggregator transformation. So what exact output of this um, joiner transformation is going to be is when we join this on the dummy condition that is dummy equal to dummy of th uh, th sorry the expression dummy value equal to aggregated dummy value that is 1 1 our result is going to be in the joiner transformation is like this it's going to be 5 n 5 5 5 and 5. So this is what is the joiner transformation joiner transformation value is going to be I mean so the output is going to be so this thing we are giving it to a router so what the router does is if you see here I am giving that value to a router in router I am mentioning few I am creating few groups like group 1 where I am mentioning O count should be 1 and a group 2 where the O count should be total count and remaining the default you know that right so whatever O count the 1 is nothing but O count is nothing but 1 right so we know rad is 1 so this will be router to 1 file and then the second one what I am mentioning is O count should be equal to total count what is our total count total count is nothing but 5 right so O count should be equal to total count we know O count here is 5 and total count is 5 so 5 is equal to 5 that is September sorry SCP should be given to the another table so rad will go to one file and table will go uh, sorry SCP will be going to another table and I am giving a default uh, remaining default to another table uh, remaining in the sense this ram gym hub all these things will go to the another table so three tables are created where the first file will be given to one table the last file record will be given to the last table and remaining to the in between table so that's what I mentioned here I've created groups as you as you can see and I'm directing those groups different groups to a different file you can see it here right e name and uh, the count you can see it here so you can also try the same thing and execute the execute the same mapping so now after uh, creating the mapping you know very well you need to create a task and then uh, as I mentioned in the previous tutorial just mention the path and the direction I mean the path and the uh, file name that you want to create in that respective path and then just right click and say start task so you can go to your Informatica power center workflow monitor and see the whatever result is going to be so it succeeded so now if I go to my desktop that's where I've given the path as three things have been created first last and middle so first I can see Smith the last one is Miller and middle you can see remaining records so if I go to my Oracle database you can see here the first record is Smith and the last record is Miller and the remaining records has been given to another file so as our requirement three files are generated with the different things okay so this is what is about the the scenario that I mentioned hope you guys enjoyed and understood it properly uh, if there are any queries then please do mail me I will try to get back as soon as possible if not I'm really really sorry um, anyways keep supporting and share my videos with your other friends too thank you very much for watching